Hi, hello, welcome. My name is Yvonne. I am a PhD student and stationary enthusiast, and this channel is all about that, <laughs> being a PhD student and uh, using stationary as both of a creative, out creative outlet and as a productivity tool. And this, as probably from the title, is my 2023 planner slash journal lineup. And I know you can't tell from this angle, but there's a lot of them. <laughs> um, so, um, oh, sorry, and I forgot to welcome back those that have been here before. Hi, hello, welcome. I'm so sorry. I like totally, I'm just seeing this stack and I'm like, oh my God, how long is this video going to be? Like people are not going to stay and watch the whole thing. <laughs> like, um, it's a big stack, but I apologize. Welcome back if you've been here before. I appreciate you coming back. Um, so yes, this stack, I know you can, again, can't see from this angle is quite a big stack. Um, so we're going to get right to it and start uh, flipping, not maybe flipping through them, but like going over how I'm going to be using this stack. So first I'm going to move half of these out of the way and put them over here. And we'll start with this stack. So this stack here is like my more functional uh, work. So this is very much keeping track of my life in every which way, shape, or form. It seems like a lot there are. Let me stack them kind of this way. So there are five all together. And I will go through how I'm going to be using these. So let me put some of these aside. And do this one. So if you've watched any of my videos previously, you know that this is my Hobonichi cousin for 2023. And this video is my catch-all, do-everything, keep track organizational tool. Um, again, not going to go through it because I, if I either have already posted a video on it or I'm going to <laughs> more in depth, but the Hobonichi has monthly, weekly, and dailies in it. I'm going to be using this to keep track of my entire life. So school, work, personal, all of that stuff, content creation, all of it. Every, every, every one of these that's on this side that I'm going to go through is going to end up here somehow. So this functional every day on my desk all the time, <laughs> most important tool of my, my stack. If I could only have one, it would be this one, but luckily I don't need to only have one. So we don't have to go through that. My second one, this is just a standard B6 Stology. I am not using this. Oh, it's even upside down. See, uh, I'm not using this. As a planner, I'm using this as purely for notes. So notes if I am, you know, on a phone call for school or work, um, if I just need to jot down notes for a class, like whatever the case may be, notes are going in here. I think there's 368 pages in here. So I don't know if that's going to be enough, but at least for the next six months, it will be. I've kind of already decorated it. My niece gave me these stickers. so to give like a little bit of an homage to her, a, a fellow stationary lover, sticker lover. Um, I put those in there. And then I got this notebook for Christmas from, it was ordered from Yoseka. So I got their postcard and their stickers. I'm keeping that in here until I know what to do with it. Okay, so that was Astology. The next one is my A6 uh, Hobonichi original in English. This is what it looks like. I'm going to be using this for content creation. This is also the weekly supplement that I just keep slipped right in here. It fits perfectly and they stay together. This is going to be for content creation. I'm going to keep track of videos that I want to post, videos that I posted, social media reels, photos, all of that stuff is going to go in here. And this will then be funneled into my cousin when it is that week. Uh, so everything, again, is going to be funneled back into my cousin, my uh, Hobonichi cousin. So this is for content creation. This yellow one I've actually already been using because it starts actually in November. This is a Hobonichi Weeks, and this is our household planner. So 
I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but my partner seems to be using it fine. Um, so we have been using this to keep track of bills, uh, groceries, um, all of that stuff. So we do like shopping lists in here, meal plan, what bills have gone through or will be going through, uh, any miscellaneous, like anything with our dog. I did a full uh, flip through that I believe is already up. So if you want to watch that, you definitely can. I'll um, link it in the description box. You can watch it after this one. Um, but yeah, so that's what we've been using it for. It's been working great. Um, my goal with this was um, to keep everything in one place because I'm the one that adds up the bills at the end of the month um, because my partner and I split bills 50-50. So um, I wanted to make sure that um, I had an easier way to just keep track of what bills are coming in and out instead of having to go to my credit card account, go to my um, bank account, go through receipts, go, you know, it just became kind of a lot and I kept missing things. So this is easier. Everything goes in here and then I add it up at the end of the month. So household planner has been working out great. I, I understand the why people love the Hobonichi Weeks. It's just so versatile. Like, <laughs> uh, I was thinking about getting another one, but I'm trying to hold off because I just have a lot of them already. So this next one is a Traveler's Notebook, not from Traveler's Company, because if you do, if you know or don't know, I'm vegan, so I don't consume or use anything or purchase anything that has come from animals, and that includes leather. So this is a vegan leather traveler's notebook-esque that I got from Amazon. I think it was like nine dollars or something. It actually feels pretty good. It feels nice. I don't know if people would be able to tell that it is or isn't leather, but that's neither here nor there. I'm going to be using this for all things um, like school as far as like notes. You may have seen this before because I think I did like a flip through of this, but it's the same thing. I've been using it as a way to uh, work on dissertation and comps, like any notes that I think of, any ideas for research, um, reading, uh, I was writing a paper that, um, was most likely going to be part of my dissertation topic, so I was writing in, like, um, places that I found, um, uh, sources and all that stuff. This is reading notes, so when I read, things that are connected to my work in any way it goes in here I got also got this canvas uh, pocket from um, Amazon um, and it's just it's a little bit stiff so if you have any ideas on how to like soften it a little bit but it's like waxed canvas so I thought this would be good just in case I you know found little scraps of paper or <laughs> um, anything that would have to do with like my dissertation. And these are my thoughts. So I'm starting to think about like, um, you know, how I'm feeling about dissertation work. So this is specifically like my thoughts on like how I'm feeling about how school is going and that kind of stuff. Um, haven't written a lot in there, but I'm sure we'll get full at some point. And then this came with like a little pen that I'm probably not going to use. Um, and a pen holder. So this was a pretty nice purchase. Uh, what I don't really like is that it said it's passport size, but it's not. It's much bigger. It's like personal size. So, um, yeah, it is what, excuse me, it is what it is, I guess. So this is like my functional keep on track plans. I went through those very quickly. I'm pretty sure I have flip throughs of all of these except for this top one because there's nothing to flip through. It's just notes and then the B6 Stology because I just got that for Christmas. So, um, but these three will ha should have flip throughs of them already up on my channel. If not, they'll be up very soon. So if you want to get more insight on how I'll be using these guys. So next stack <laughs> is my like not so um, rigid, um, more like creative, fun, reflective um, work or uh, journals um, or planners. So this one used to be my cover for 
this guy, but then I bought this guy, and because, I don't know, I'm, I don't know, I didn't really like how this was looking, but I might go back, I don't know, that's the good thing about having different covers, I guess, this I am thinking about using as, like, a health chopper, so I've been having a lot of, not health issues, but, like, my skin has been really, like, kind of flaky and dry, um, my tummy will sometimes hurt, and so I'm kind of like, mm, is it like the food that I'm eating? Is it I'm not drinking enough water? So I really am trying to maybe keep track of like some symptoms, but I don't want to do it in my cousin. Because again, my, my cousin I take everywhere. And if I lose that thing, I don't want people to know all of my business. <laughs> so um, I think I'm just going to write some notes in here about that. But I haven't fully thought that through. So we'll see. I may also use it as like a... Um, like a mini bullet journal for um, hitting like health goals I'm not talking about like losing weight that's not my goal but like um, the goals I talked about it in in my Hobonichi cousin flip through for 2023 like my, my in-depth one about wanting to like be better at like my yoga practice and running a half marathon. Those are some of my goals. Um, you know, journaling more. So I'm thinking about making a bullet journal in this for that health stuff. So again, not losing weight, but just trying to reach health goals. So I think I'm going to use that for, I'm thinking I'm going to use this notebook for that. I also have these notebooks that I got for free with that other planner with the other uh, traveler's notebook that I got from Amazon and um, they're pretty nice notebooks like I don't like that they're like fully blank like there's no lines um, so maybe I'll use these I'm not sure maybe I'll just use these for just blank notes so anyway health journal for this guy and then this one line a day I've actually had for a while and I started it as you can tell this year but I have been really bad about filling it out and I would love to kind of go start filling it out again and so I think one of my goals for this year is to do that see how I like kind of like started and stopped in a lot of different places uh, luckily, I've been memory keeping since like around August, so I think I'm gonna go back and fill in the places that I can um, for this year, and then start again next year. So I'm gonna be using this as just a one line a day. I've been seeing a lot of people use the Hobonichi Five Year in the same way. Well, I mean that's what it's for, um, and so I think what I'm gonna do is I felt compelled to like write a lot but some people are like sometimes I just write literally like bullet journal I mean like bullet points and I like the idea of just being like it's literally one line like this is the highlight of today so I think what I'm going to do is you know I'll show you my memory keeper I think what I'm going to do is like maybe once a month like just go back and fill in like just the highlight from the from the day or from that week or I mean yeah from that day sorry so one line a day, gonna be using, trying to be, trying to be better about using this again. Um, I just like the idea of like going back at the end of this and seeing like what I was doing on this year five, on this day five years ago. So I think that'll be really cool. And it's just been sitting there, and I felt bad. <laughs> so I was like, I need to use it. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna start using this again in 2023. So next is my spiritual journal. This is actually going to be changing because I bought a Magic of Eye Astro Planner and I'm so excited. I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm super excited to get that. And so I think this is going to not be used for that this year and I probably will just let this sit this year unless the Astro Planner doesn't work. But I have been using this as a tarot journal and dream journal and all my spiritual practice so that's what it will continue being um, until I get the astral journal and I test that out 
this is kind of an up in the air one. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this this year. Um, I really want to try the Astro Journal. It's just beautiful and has a lot of like really cool like astrology and tarot. And this year their theme is mushrooms. So I had to get it because if you don't know, I love mushrooms. I think they're so cute and so cool and interesting and just like fungi in general um, are really, really cool. Um, on the flip side, I don't like eating mushrooms. <laughs> I think they're a little bit chewy. I'm not a big fan of mushrooms generally, but I think them as like a uh, phyla, as like a, you know, as like a living being, I think it is really cool. And I just think they're super interesting. So anyway, that was a total tangent, but <laughs> so I had, to, I had to purchase it because the <laughs> their theme this year is mycology. Um, and so it talks a little bit about um, mushrooms and all of that. So I'll do a flip through of that once I get it, but, and how I set it up, but, um, yeah, this one I think is going to be out of the planner lineup for now, but we'll see how I feel in a month or two. <laughs> so my mind changes a lot. So my passion planner is my memory keeper. So the reason I love passion planner, but the reason that I moved away from using this as my functional planner and moved into the Hobonichi is because I got into fountain pens and fountain pens don't work well on the paper that Passion Planner uses because it's kind of glossy and it's really thick. Um, so it takes forever for fountain pen to dry. And so I didn't want to um, not use this because I love Passion Planner so much. I'm actually an ambassador for them. So if you're interested, um, you can get 20% off um, the, or not 20, 10% off any of your purchases with the code I have below. But um, I love Fashion Planner. So as you can see, I've been wanting to learn ASL and do races and stuff since um, I started this in August. So we're moving forward and I have read a lot of books this year. Um, so I'm excited, a lot for me, so I'm excited. So yeah, this has been wonderful. Um, we're in December. I just got caught up last, last night with all of December. But, uh, you know, some pages are empty and that's totally fine. But I've just been using this as like a way to like be like, OK, what did I do today? What are the highlights? Um, you know, what are, what would I want to know at the end of the at the end of filling this up like that I did this year? See, as you can tell, I started using it like more functionally. And then I was like, no, this is not going to work. And then, <laughs> this is still my favorite spread. And then I was like, no, nope, I'm going to use it this way. So anyway, yeah. So this will be used the same way. I still have it until July of next year because this was an academic um, planner. So um, I'll be using this until July of next year. And I'm really excited to see how this fills up. So I think what I'm going to do systematically is fill this in every week. And then every month or every couple of months use this to fill in like the highlight. So we're getting like wider. So this is for, this will be one year and then this will be a five year highlights, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'll use these together. So this is my memory keeper. I don't know once this gets filled up, if I'll continue um, memory keeping in this way, but we'll see how I feel at the end of the year, um, like looking through it. Um, I might end up just archiving my cousin at the end of the year but again I, ha I've, I have enjoyed doing this kind of more creative memory keeping and not worrying so much about like what time I did something but like even just like the small kind of mundane things of like oh I had coffee at my favorite coffee shop and read a book or something so yeah so this is my memory keeper for the next six months and I've already got six months in here this is my art journal. I won't be sharing too much because I, it's like very personal, but essentially it's just a passion planner journal. The paper again is like 120 GSM, so it's very thick. And, you know, I just collage in it. When I have a chance, I draw, I do whatever feels good at the time. It's like not even close to being filled up. It's like right here. 
because I don't use it every day and I don't pressure myself. Like sometimes I'll really feel like just creating something and then I won't pick it up for like a couple months and then I'll go back to it. So this is probably going to be in my lineup for at least a couple years <laughs> at this rate. Um, and that's totally fine. And then this sticker is from uh, Quirky Sipota. I don't know if she still has that because it's like a pretty old sticker. I just found it. So that is my art journal. This is my journal journal. So this is, I'm definitely not opening this. Um, so this journal is like my thoughts, all of my thoughts. Um, this will become a therapy journal because I'm starting therapy in the new year, which I'm really excited about. And I saw Kelsey from Kelsey Doodles on Instagram that she has a therapy journal, which I loved the idea of like having a therapy journal and kind of like decompressing after therapy and like what steps need to be done or any notes that I should take. Um, so this is going to turn into just for therapy. Um, and yeah, so this you will never see the inside of probably, <laughs> um, but I did want to share it because I thought that the, the idea of a therapy journal was really interesting. And so I kind of wanted to share that. But again, um, deep thoughts here. I don't want to have to worry about people seeing it or what they might may or may not see. So I won't be sharing any pages from this. But yeah, therapy journal um, to kind of debrief my therapy sessions every week. And then maybe like action steps or whatever I feel like I need to take um, to do to debrief. So this will be my therapy journal for 2023. I've already journaled in it. Like, um, I started journaling in this on my birthday when I bought this notebook. Um, so I have been journaling in it already, but I'm switching it over to just thoughts about therapy and what I talk about in therapy. So therapy journal. And last but definitely not least is my reading journal. So I love this thing. Um, I started this in 2020 and so I didn't fill it, didn't nearly fill up, fill it up for the year. I use this much if you can see. Um, so not even half. So I was like, I'm just going to keep it in the same notebook until I fill it up. And so I was like, let me just put a tab for 2023 and <laughs> we'll be good. So I'll do a quick flip through of here. But uh, so, yeah, 2023 was a good reading year for me. I think uh, when I'm filming this, I'm at 51 books and I will definitely get to 52. My goal was 35 this year and I definitely beat that. So my goal for next year is 65. Um, some of the things that I didn't really use, um, I'm going to be moving away from. And you'll see um, that I've, I've aligned this a little bit differently. I'm not really doing challenges this, this coming year. Um, I don't think they necessarily help me read more or less. Um, I, I didn't even fi finish filling this out. Um, so I'm not, I didn't set that up again. New releases. I didn't really set this up either because I didn't really buy any of the new releases that I had. Um, if you can hear that, sorry, that's my dog. Um, so yeah, so I was just like, man, I'm not going to do that again. What I am going to do is continue doing my reviews. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to print out the little book covers again and put them with each review. So I think that'll be really helpful in just making it look a little bit more cute and creative and make me want to pick it up a little bit more. Um, but yeah, essentially some don't even, I didn't even fill out reviews. My goal for this year is to, to fill out a review, even if it's a short one for each book that I read. But at the very least, I managed to create a spread for most of the months and then have my goals and then... Um, you know, just having the reviews, but yeah, so it's been fun keeping this reading journal. I think the reading journal really helped me want to read more. So this is December and then I left a couple pages. I think I'm going to do like 
Well, I'll need one more page for the last book that I'm reading. But I think I'm going to do a year wrap up here. Like how many books I read, how many pages, like how many hours. Because I, I do listen to a lot of audiobooks. Um, how many five stars, three stars, or four stars, three stars, two, two stars, and one stars. Um, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do a wrap up. And then for 2023, I decided this is going to be like a media journal. So generally, it's probably going to be mostly books and mostly geared towards reading. But I think I'm also going to do a media journal because sometimes I'm like, oh, I watched this movie already. Or what's the name of that book or the podcast that I was listening to about this? So um, I like to keep, I want to keep a uh, record of that. So index, always have an index. Books to be read. So my TBR um, this is mostly just to keep track because I, I do have a story graph if you're interested in following me. I don't use Goodreads, um, but if you're interested in following me on story graph, if you have a story graph, um, the link is in, um, the description, but, um, I, um, like to keep track of a list here kind of in one place because sometimes like on story graph, like I have to like search for it. Or I have to go through my TBR and like, oh, what was that book? And I have a lot of books on my TBR on Storygraph. I'm like, ones that I've added like so long ago when I was still using Goodreads. So um, I think this will be better for like books that I want to read like in this year. <laughs> um, so I think that'll be helpful. My reading goal. I put 52 here because I wasn't, I didn't know I was going to reach 52 this year. So I'm, I'm still, it's still 52 on here but I think I'll be able to reach 65 and then here's the books that I read uh, I'm going to put like a little um, like uh, the book title probably not the whole book title because it probably won't fit but most of it and then I didn't do like a color code system as far as like this is an audiobook um, and all of that but I have I just realized I didn't really finish filling this out because I didn't color in the bookshelf so maybe I'll be able to do a little key here at the bottom and then I brought this back from the other from 2022 so books borrowed and books bought um, I don't always I mean I borrow a lot of books from the library so this probably won't be enough space um, but I don't always write it down and then books bought I tend I have been really good about not buying as many books as I normally have before um, because our library is so close and so my goal is to borrow the books and if I really enjoy the book then go and buy the book because um, I have a lot of books that I buy that I thought I would enjoy and I never get to and I'm like Ugh, I bought this and I'm now I'm gonna, not even going to read it I'm sure there's a lot of people who understand that <laughs> out in the universe um, and so the last one is just other media generally so um, I put title type and rating so the title of it like if it's a podcast, a movie, a TV show, and then what I rated it, like whether I liked it or not. Um, this is, I did two pages of this. That may or may not be enough, but we'll see. Luckily I have all of these pages, so, and that's why I also have the index. <laughs> so if, um, you know, and this, and this journal's um, numbered, so if I need to do another spread like this, further down then I can do that the one thing I haven't decided on is if I'm going to do it by like month so like January here's like everything I consumed that month and what I thought of it or if I'm just going to write it in I think I'm still going to do it by month though because I really enjoyed kind of seeing like um how um how I did month to month as far as like books that I read like you could tell like I don't read as much like when the semester is like really starting to gear up and then like summer I read a lot and then winter break I read a lot so that is that I didn't mean to go as in-depth as I did for that so <laughs> sorry this became like a very long video after that so yeah that is my my reading journal and all of my kind of journals that are more for creativity um, and less for kind of functionality um, and then here is my 
full stack. Oh lord, it's too heavy. <laughs> I can't even grab it. Okay, and then here is my full stack for the year. Obviously, some of these go beyond just 2023, and then some of them are just for the year because they're um, dated planners, um, and some I've already been using, while others I'm just going to get started in this year. So, kind of a mixed bag. Um, let me know what you're using for this year. What's your planner lineup look like? Um, if you are also a YouTuber or have an Instagram page dedicated to planners or anything else that you see on my channel, like put it in a comment. I'd love to watch your videos and, um, you know, also watch your content. So yeah, this is my planner lineup for 2023. It is a mountainous stack. Um, but I'm super excited to dig into some of these, rework some of the other ones that I've already been using, and then continue to use the ones that I really, really enjoy. So that is it. Thank you so much for getting to the end. If you did, if you made it this far, put a little book emoji next to uh, in the comments below, letting me know that you're a real one and you watched like 30 minutes of me talking about planners and journals. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me in the channel and helps me meet some of my goals for 2023. Please like the video. And yeah, so until next time, I will see you later. Adios. Mm -hmm.